For decades, scientists tried using vitamin E to prevent Alzheimer's. Multiple trials, millions of dollars, and it completely flopped. It turns out we were looking in the wrong place. Vitamin E only protects one type of molecule in your cells, lipids or fats. But oxidative damage, the kind that drives dementia and aging, destroys everything. Your DNA, your proteins, all of it. So it's like trying to fireproof a house by only treating the curtains. So there's this compound called ergothionine that was discovered in the 1980s and then basically forgotten. Your body can't make it, you have to get it from food. But here's the thing, you have a dedicated transporter in your body just for this molecule. Also, your kidneys actively recycle it instead of peeing it out. And evolution doesn't build specialized machinery for nothing. So Professor Barry Halliwell at the National University of Singapore measured ergothionine levels in hundreds of people and he found that those with cognitive impairment had remarkably low levels. Parkinson's patients had the same thing. And similarly, people with low ergothionine had significantly higher risk of cognitive decline than, ho- than those with higher levels. But unlike vitamin E, ergothionine doesn't just protect. It gets into your mitochondria, it can help grow new brain cells, and it reduces inflammation, so it's doing multiple jobs at once. In a small pilot study, elderly people taking ergothionine three times a week showed significant cognitive improvement and a marker of brain damage that kept rising in the placebo group completely flattened out. The study was too small for firm conclusions, but the signals are definitely promising. So where do you get ergothionine? Mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms, shiitake, lion's mane, they're all loaded with it. And studies in Singapore, Japan, and the US all show the same thing, that people who eat more mushrooms have lower rates of cognitive decline. We've been so focused on antioxidants like vitamin C and E that we've completely overlooked the molecule that our bodies are literally built to capture and hoard. So maybe the secret to healthy aging has been hiding in mushrooms all along.